Hello friends, this is Harvey Mundan. Welcome to Samsung Wave News. Um, I've just returned from a uh, holiday recently um, using the Samsung Wave um, for about 7,000 kilometer trip. Um, basically, uh, every, every hour of the day for navigation, for uh, camera video, obviously, for uh, internet, communication, everything. And um, after 7,000 kilometers, um, haven't kept it in a case. I can honestly say there's not a single scratch or mark or scuff or anything on the phone at all. Um, it's as perfect as it was the day it came out of the box. Um, the navigation and the performance of the GPS uh, was really good. Um, wasn't using the advanced GPS and it got a lock for um, I would say on average uh, about 30 seconds um, quicker um, after you've been running it for a while um, and it kept the lock um, almost always um, sometimes in uh, really small streets in the centre of towns um, it got a bit confused um, but generally very accurate um, to see my dedicated review on Route 66 software, um, have a look at this link. Um, you can see whether that passed or failed the navigation test. Um, in uh, more general news, um, Samsung have announced they are allowing uh, advertising in their applications. Um, this will be good to encourage developers to um, develop uh, new and free apps because they can get revenue from the advertising um, but on the other hand as consumers obviously we don't want too much advertising in our applications. Um, software update, Samsung have up updated uh, the key software for PC which uh, now allows you to sync your uh, calendar and tasks with Outlook on the PC and that works uh, really well. Um, as far as firmware is concerned, um, the latest firmware is the XXJH3, which is actually BADA 1.0.2. Um, this is the latest firmware available um, officially or unofficially. Um, keys will update you um, depending on uh, what region uh, you're in and what uh, software you have already installed on your phone. Um, a few cosmetic changes, such as uh, a new uh, icon for Wi-Fi, which shows uh, signal strength. Uh, there's also a new option in the menu for software update, um, which once you have uh, a Samsung account and you're logged in, uh, check for update. And at the moment, um, it says no update available. Um, I don't know how soon in the future that will be uh, implemented, uh, if it's the next update or uh, sometime in the future. Um, you can also um, set a different tone for uh, message or for email, uh, which you couldn't do before. So that's uh, one extra good functionality. Um, and generally, it's very, very, very smooth, uh, this firmware. Uh, silky, silky, silky smooth interface, and uh, everything scrolls very nicely. Um, this theme is called Lines. Uh, it's a very colourful theme, I like it. Um, it's uh, a kind of... Um, customized theme. Uh, someone took the icons from uh, the Lions theme and they added a purplish background which is a very nice colour I think and um, I've modified that by changing the battery icon to uh, when it's full it's green, when it's uh, half full it's yellow, when it's uh, almost empty it's red. So lots of people changing um, different things with themes. Uh, all of these themes, I think there are about 20 original themes now and um, a few more customized themes. They're available 
from samsungwaveforum.com. Um, I'll put the link in the video information. Uh, you can download all, all the uh, themes from there. And um, the widgets as well, um, there are quite a few things like this app launcher, which um, I've just taken an app launcher and uh, changed the icons. It uh, gives you five basic functions, very easy just to get from your desktop using that. It uh, doesn't take up much space. Uh, there are a few variations of uh, those app launchers. Um, there are a few variations of the speed dial, um, which allows you just to scroll through your address book. Um, it doesn't show the images uh, captured in your address book through Facebook Sync for some reason. Um, so I don't know if that will be fixed uh, in the future. But that just allows you just to quick call. Um, some of them I've seen have uh, SMS as well functionality. Um, lots of new apps and some apps which um, makes a change are actually very useful. Um, for example, uh, we were waiting for a flashlight app which actually used the uh, LED of the uh, the phone. So we've got one of those now. Uh, a free one, I should say. There are quite a few uh, paid ones. Um, and some major apps, uh, for example, Layer, which uh, people know from Android, of course, um, allows you to um, kind of browse your locality for uh, places such as pubs and restaurants. Um, obviously, it won't work indoors. Um, I have tried this um, outside. And um, in some places, um, it found quite a lot of things. In other places, uh, where it should have found something, it didn't find anything. So I think it just depends on where you are. Um, other applications are Daily Motion, um, which I was using uh, earlier through Wi-Fi. Um, is a really nice video browser. Um, nice interface, you can just scroll through the suggested videos or let it just go as a slideshow. Um, you can search for videos uh, if you can if you have an account, you can sign in as a user. And um, it was streaming um, high definition videos perfectly, um, really, really well. Um, probably better than YouTube, so that's a, <clears throat> a nice video browser. Um, BTAG is a native barcode reader, which uh, works really well. Very easy to scan. Um, with this, you don't have to uh, even press the camera key. You just have the uh, can't get it in the camera, but it will just find it and immediately return the information. And you can do various things with that, so that works well. Um, and a, a car finder, which kind of works. Um, it's just a very simple GPS navigation. When you park, you save the location. Um, and when you want to go back there, you just find route. Um, the maps are pretty good. Um, we're inside now, so I don't know if it will find um, any uh, GPS signals. Sometimes it does inside. Um, but I won't keep it on. Um, that really does chew up, chew up your data like a crocodile on a fat man's leg. Um, so, 
those are um, pretty, pretty good apps, good quality. Um, there are apps available in the App Store from BBC Top Gear now, from Body Shop, from McDonald's. So um, it's obvious Samsung have done deals with um, a lot of um, blue chip uh, companies um, for content for Badder, which uh, can only be good for the future. Um, there's Pixel Smart Office, which um, I will be uh, reviewing in a future uh, video, which is for editing uh, Word uh, uh, Office documents. So until then, thank you.